It's hard to believe that Mazda's ND Miata has been on the market for about three years now, and every year the company makes small changes. I'm at the 2018 Chicago Auto Show, and this is the 2018 Mazda MX-5 Miata. Let's take a first look. So when you look at the exterior of the 2018 Miata, it hasn't changed. Mazda didn't make any changes to it uh, when it comes to the actual look. There's probably a refresh coming for 2019, but other than that, the 18 has some different options here and there, which we'll go over in the video. Now, under the hood hasn't changed either. It's still the same two liter direct injection, naturally aspirated four cylinder with about 155 horsepower and paired with either a six speed manual or an automatic. Now, this particular one that I'm showing you is the club trim. Uh, you can distinguish it as a club from the lower front air dams. You have uh, LED headlights as standard. If you guys go for the Grand Touring, they'll also be swiveling adaptive headlights with automatic high beams. Now, this one has also a pretty uh, popular option choice if you guys plan to take this to the track. It's got the Brembo BBS package, so it has the 17-inch Brembo B or BBS wheels with the upgraded Brembo brakes. They certainly make this car look a lot more aggressive. And when you look at it from the side profile, I wanted to show you guys this in particular. This top is a new color option this year. It's the Auburn Red uh, top. It pairs really well with the, sig the uh, machine gray exterior color, which Mazda introduced just last year. You can still take your pick between uh, the soft top like this one or the RF which is over there um, which is only available in the club and the Grand Touring. You can pick this one still in Sport uh, Club and the Grand Touring trim. Now at the rear there are no changes again. You can distinguish this as a club model because of the black spoiler, the lower front fascia and the Miata has really been a strong seller for Mazda despite the fact that this is a tiny roadster. It still represents being the best-selling sports car on the market and it's one of the most pure driving experiences you can buy today and it's going to stay that way uh, and with the changes Mazda's made I think they're going to kind of open up um, some new buyers here who preferred something other than just a black top if you wanted the soft top model. So when you look at the interior of the 2018 Miata, it may not look all that different just like on the outside. However, when you start to look around the details, Mazda has made some nice changes uh, for 2018, kind of addressing some of my criticism that I had with this car back when it first came out. Now, first of all, the manual soft top, it's still really easy to put down. It takes two seconds to put this down. And um, now that you can actually see all the light, the seats are the centerpiece of this club. This is the new Recaro bucket option uh, with some Alcantara, with some leather. They're also heated. You couldn't even get heated seats on a club in the past. This is a $700 upgrade if you guys get the club with the Brembo BBS package. I think it's a worthy upgrade as well, only available on the manual transmission. So that's kind of the way you'd want to pick it anyways. Now, if you want these Recaro seats, they're not available on the RF. You have to go for the soft top, which is okay with me. Uh, the enthusiast who is going to actually track this car would probably get this in the soft top configuration anyways. The soft top is available if you guys go for the GT with a premium Napa leather, uh, which is definitely a nice option. It's that kind of that red, that reddish brownish color that I think it's going to appeal to a lot of more the grand touring, more luxury oriented buyers who are going to you know pick something in this segment. Now, the rest of this interior hasn't really changed. Um, you still have the seven inch Mazda Connect head unit here. No Android Auto and CarPlay. I would like to see Mazda add that when they refresh this car hopefully uh, for 2019 and the materials in here are still good um, the club kind of has its own unique trim whereas the GT gives you the automatic climate control with a satin finish there's no auto dimming review mirror although I am glad to say that there's blind spot monitoring for the cross traffic alert uh, in the heated seats still no backup camera Mazda doesn't have it on the Miata they'll probably be forced to add that um, soon when the government eventually mandates that now Mazda has announced pricing on the 2018 Miata at the Chicago Auto Show uh, and this car starts at around $25,255 which is is about a couple hundred more than the 2017 model. If you guys want the RF, the hardtop version, that's gonna cost you about $2,500 more. This club model that I'm sitting in starts at around 28.8 at about 3,500 for the Brembo BBS package, another 700 for the wheels, and you're looking at around 33, $34,000. The most expensive Miata is the RF. Um, club with the Brembo BBS package. That's going to set you back around just under $36,000, which again, still makes it a pretty good deal, especially when you're looking at this particular segment of vehicle. The Miata is still one of the cheapest rear drive sports car convertibles you can buy. The 2018 Miata is already on sale at your local Mazda dealers, and I think that enthusiasts should definitely uh, put this one high on your list if you're looking for a fun two-seater sports car. For Redline Reviews at the 2018 Chicago Auto Show, I'm Sofian Bay.